What's up, beautiful people? And welcome to our cosy off-grid cabin. Cosy cabin called Koya. Cosy cabin called Koya. We've been invited to stay here by a company called Unplugged, and we're literally what feels like in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. So these cabins are all located around an hour or two outside of London, and the idea is that you come here, you can disconnect, put your phone in a box, and get away from the doom scroll. They said that apparently, like 80% of people, they the amount of distance that they scroll Throughout in a year, year is the height of Mount Everest, which is absolutely <laughs> crazy. It makes me feel really weird. So I'm so glad to have my phone not attached to my hand. So we arrived last night, we finished work, we drove here, we left our car at the entrance to a farm, and there was thousands of chickens. And because the cabin is a short stroll away, they even give you this lovely trolley. <laughs> Might have had a little instant just before we reached the cabin. And then we just had a really chilled evening yesterday, had a beer. Looked out at the beautiful view. And we worked out how to, uh, how to use the tape player. They left us with a selection of tapes by like The Police, ABBA, Fleetwood Mac. Every move you make. And then... Locked our phones away. The idea is you lock your phone away in here. And in exchange, you get all of these little bits. An instant camera here. Ten little uh, photo papers for it. You got a compass, torch, solar powered. A wire to charge the little old Nokia they give you. And a custom made... Oh, it's Matt. Goodbye. This is what the cabin looks like from the outside. Got our nice little chairs. You got the solar panels because it all runs on solar in there. And then we've also got, I think when it hasn't been so hot, there'd be a fire pit barbecue here. And we've got our picnic table just over here. And I'll give you a little tour of the inside. It won't take too long. To our cabin. So this is obviously the main feature is this huge window right here. Wake up, look out. I don't think we'll be using it. It's a bit hot, isn't it? It's very warm at the moment, but there's a wood burner, and then we've got the... Uh... Radio, cassette tapes, some playing cards, a bit of fly spray, and some <laughs> nice books. And our towels were here when we came in. And then um, we've got the kitchen area kind of in the... Well, we've got like a little a seating area. There's a stool underneath. This table, table pulls, pulls out, out, and there's a little thing to keep it up if we need to. These are all the bits that we were left in our phone lock box. A two burner hob, a nice kettle we just used for a nice cup of coffee. I really, really like these, so you can have the windows open but the bugs don't get in. I like the bug nets. There's another one for the door as well, it's not pulled across right now. Oops. Nice storage. Some good storage up, up here. here. I actually think this might be like a drying rack. Yeah. Because it, it's just really clever and space saving. Yeah, it's been really well designed, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, put together. And then we've got cupboards down here too. A cupboard whole, for all our food. A whole like proper quite sized a, fridge, a really. Quite sized fridge, I think. When oh, they so said we were going to get a fridge, we weren't sure how big it was going to be. I was not sure about that, but it's all good. And then we have our bins under the sink here. And our bathroom is really just... Really nice bathroom. I'll turn the light on. In here. So we've got like an eco, no flush toilet here. You must sit down to use it. And, and then a double shower, a rain shower and a normal one. Look at that. So it definitely feels like pretty modern and sleek in there. I know. And there is actually enough space. This is where we parked. Got this little hut. Well, this is where they've like left wellies and stuff if you need them in here. Nice little shed. Thousands of free-range chickens. 
And we saw this, this is called... The Egg Shed. I love it. This is the best thing ever. It's an egg vending machine. An egg vending machine. I'm just so excited. How many are we going to need? I think we should get a dozen. A Super dozen? Six, yeah. Half a dozen. Half a dozen, half a dozen for two pounds. I think that's so reasonable. Half a dozen for two pounds, a dozen for three pounds, or 30 for six pounds. It's crazy. We got loads of information here. 24,000 chickens that have 30 acres to roam around in. That's amazing. Highest quality eggs. Machine processing, look. Whee! Whee! Fresh eggs! <gasps> nice. nice. <laughs> There's a big bird over there. Where? Oh yeah. Time. And look at these trillionaire slices. What a treat. Ooh. Going this way. Beans. Dinner? Dinner. I'm running a bit low. Thank there you. There we are, miss. <laughs> this is the life. Living the dream. Much sunnier today. Cheers. Cheers. They're wild. Wild deer. They're running. Right now we are lapping up the sunshine. We're just walking along one of Hannah's favourite things. Whenever I'm in the car on a straight road, I always ask, is this a Roman road? But we are actually on, on a, a Roman, Roman road. road. So I'm very happy about it. There's going to be so many blackberries here in like end of August, start of September. You see the flowers come and when the flowers go, the fruit comes. It'll be full of them. Crumble for everyone. <laughs> with a view. barbecue. 
an indoor barbecue. They said because it had been so hot recently. We don't want to destroy the fields. Um, yeah, we couldn't do a barbecue. There's no fire pit where where you can see there would normally be one. So we're having a nice little indoor barbecue and we're going to make some hot dogs. They look amazing. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. To the best trip. You know what I just saw as well? What did you just see? I just went outside just out there and there was a hare like right outside the cabin. <gasps> and hair. I just went out and obviously scared it but it like scampered off and just like straight into the fields and I just saw the ears popping out over the over the top. <laughs> Tasty? Yum! What a feast! The last breakfast. <laughs> I could stay here much longer, I think. I feel like it's been longer than like the two or three day long weekend that we've had. Yeah. What's been set. your favourite part? Um, I think just in general, like just completely switching off. like. I don't really feel like we've been multitasking at all. We've been really present and been able to focus on exactly what we're doing, like whether it be playing Scrabble or playing cards or just reading, know, just reading a book, the simple things. Just chatting with each other. I know. I feel like being present has been my favourite bit. I mean, I'd recommend this to, to anyone. anyone. It's been absolutely brilliant. Like the having the a, a few little modern amenities as well, like having a a warm shower or a warm rainfall shower that's been really nice that was really really nice and there is also like a little usb socket so if you need to message support or anything you can use the little burner phone other than that it's felt like we've just been completely off grid barely Beautiful seen another person have we yeah we've seen, we've seen a few farmers and that's pretty much it <laughs> that's it <laughs> i'll leave all of the info down in the description below and you should 100 percent check it out i'm gonna finish this one up here We've got to make the journey back home. But uh, if you have enjoyed this one, please leave it a like, drop a comment down below and consider subscribing for more. Thank, Thank you. you so much for watching. Big love. And it feels, feels good, good around, around here. here.